Uh, today we are going to discuss about a uh, few other projects what uh, we have been uh, uh, designing uh, with uh, steel as the protagonist. Um, it is always uh, 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 you know, a pleasure to, be, uh, to design with steel because it gives us the flexibility like what uh, you know from the experts we have been listening to. Uh, La Fabrica is another project where is the one of the tallest warehouses um, which supplies uh, cleaning equipments to the uh, to the entire nation from uh, a town called Kulachi next to Coimbatore and um, they, they had uh, you know uh, the, the, the requirement from the client was not in terms of uh, column fee spaces but in terms of height so um, they had to vertically stack and there was a lot of wind load and lateral load and it was in seismic zone 3 so we had to consider a lot of uh, 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 loading factor and uh, seismic uh, so this was all back when uh, Turkey incident was not there. So we, we had to consider a lot of load and convince the client to take in a lot of safety precautions. And um, uh, currently now we are working on uh, uh, a small expansion project of the Coimbatore International Airport. Uh, this proposal is sent to the uh, AI uh, daily for uh, 50 to 60 crore expansion to handle 3,000 to 4,000 passengers per day and uh, the limited amount of time what we have to uh, refurbish and uh, to expand the airport towards the north um, is only possible with the help of steel to have prefabricated members, to have prefabricated uh, structural elements and uh, to, to help with class. So, um, <coughs> discussing about another uh, manufacturing hub which we have started uh, with the excavation works right now. Here we have a, a different requirement, like um, um, <coughs> this is almost um, a 200 feet span where they require column free spaces for the handling of uh, and manufacturing of equipment. So um, they require 5 ton to 10 ton grains, which uh, don't, um, you know, um, they require flexibility of spaces where. Um, it is either uh, two five tons or one ten ton. So we are looking at uh, column three spaces of 200 feet, and I think uh, with the help of this is not possible with uh, it might be possible with uh, post tensioning, but um, considering the the savings, uh, the initial investment, and uh, clients' uh, input, we you know, we sort of recommended steel, and uh, we are looking at uh, cladding with puff sheet from three meter. And it goes up to, it, it has, there's a mezzanine level in it and then the first floor level in it. So this is a unique, uh, it was a challenge for us to have uh, 8 ton loading on the first floor level. Um, and uh, mezzanine level there was another 5 ton loading. And um, there were a lot of uh, service cores, there were almost 8 service cores inside the building. And at the same time as an art, you know, as a designer we have to think about what will be the aesthetical uh, uh, finish when we have to uh, remove all the heat from the manufacturing hub. So we have to introduce a lot of lures, angle lures, uh, with again puff cladding. We have experience of using them in um, foundries. So we have um, um, like we have thousand feet uh, running uh, north south, uh, four to five angle lures. What you see um, here. No? Almost 1000 to 1100 feet of uh, four levels of uh, angle louvers, which actually we, we ran a you know, um, ventilation simulation uh, with the help of uh, IIT Madras. So, um, to understand how these angle louvers allow in uh, ventilation and uh, we, through, through these roof monitors, how do we, uh, how do we remove the stale air? Uh, it was an interesting exercise and uh, of course it helped and uh, it was quite a unique project with, uh, which was, would not have been possible if uh, there were no uh, PEB uh, uh, fabricators. So, and in terms of aesthetical uh, sense, so we are looking at uh, uh, steel as the option where you now we are working with smart city equipment as well, where they require these public spaces um, and we are clear almost uh, developing from eight lakes um, and this is one of the lakes where we are uh, uh, where we have uh, you know uh, used uh, prefabricated steel 
and uh, um, it is almost a span of um, I think uh, 50 to 60 feet in uh, width and it has to be sleek, it has to be prefabricated, it has to have CNC sheeting, it has to have uh, uh, wooden paneling and it has to have uh, uh, um, you know, uh, and the soil is quite weak you know, next to the lake so it has to be done with pine foundation and I think um, uh, with the help of our structural team we were able to do it only with the help of steam and it was not quite, uh, uh, it was failing with our system. And uh, there was another uh, uh, um, sort of uh, uh, entrance uh, for the Chandigarh airport which is getting uh, uh, now refurbished. We had submitted a design uh, for the Chandigarh Development Authority uh, I think one year back and this was the concept which we had given to them uh, with the help of uh, metal tubes. So um, with these uh, hollow tubes from, uh, from Tata we had proposed these steel tubes and uh, in terms of there was a there was a blend of structural uh, aesthetics with the sort of uh, playing with light and using parametrics, uh, we sort of got a, a, a shell uh, which is which stands on its own uh, with compression. So there was a beautiful uh, dialogue between these tension and compression members. And uh, I think uh, and you know, to add the cultural effect of it to add the city's cultural effect. Of we wanted to bring these uh, titanium sheets as well and now we are doing a memorial museum for a uh, private uh, client uh, and um, this is also done with uh, in terms of uh, steel uh, structure and with coated with uh, uh, titanium coated sheets and um, the, the, this memorial museum uh, you know, is something where uh, we wanted to bring and break the language of uh, a cuboidal structure. So, uh, with these gold sheets, uh, we, are, uh, we have sort of come up with some uh, uh, dynamic shapes where uh, the light enters only from the roof and there are only streaks of light which is entering. And uh, this is a recreation center on an industrial building where um, uh, uh, again we are playing with paraboloids and parametrics uh, to bring dynamism on it. And, uh, this sits on an existing building. So, um, with the help of um, steel acting as a protocol, is correct. Um, this um, these prefabricated members are being able to retrofit on uh, on existing buildings. Uh, this building was done, I think, uh, five six years back, and now we are sort of bringing this recreation center on uh, on an industry. And um, and uh, I would like to thank uh, artificial intelligence now. Uh, currently, in our design studio. We are working with all these, uh, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, uh, using artificial intelligence to understand uh, where can we take uh, and where can we push our boundaries. Uh, so now for the Smart City Coimbatore, we are working with these other uh, science part. There is another project with, uh, uh, with the Coimbatore Corporation uh, where we are working on uh, a facade where we are using steel and we are using artificial intelligence to bring in, uh, bring in that unknown, uh, unknown product unknown, uh, and pushing our design uh, capabilities and the fabrication capabilities as well. So, um, like currently, we, currently they have approved and commissioned this option. Uh, but with the help of uh, sort of um, um, artificial intelligence in our design studio, we are able to sort of um, uh, break the boundaries what we have, uh, uh, you know, in our uh, uh, in our previous design education. So we, we take one step further, and um, and it is quite possible only because of the availability of uh, steel sections and um, and fabrications and uh, people like uh, uh, and, and fabricators. So um, mostly it's all prefabricated, it's all pre-engineered, and. Um, and I think um, when, when there's a blend of technology and then there's a blend of um, acceptance from the client, I think uh, the, the sort of the design is born out of uh, you know uh, lot of parameters. So we 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 inlay and input steel. We have uh, we sort of uh, have uh, lighting. We sort of have uh, um, and. Um, 
and creativity does not have um, a boundary when we sort of bring in another uh, uh, aspect of artificial intelligence out of it. And, um, and, and these are the projects for, uh, uh, you know, uh, what we want to show where uh, with the help of steel, uh, we are able to sort of create.